Which is the best John Carpenter film? This has been something that's been bugging me for like a week. My, so yeah, we'll start with it. Which is your favorite one? Which is the best Carpenter movie? Um, well, when it comes to Carpenter, I only always have two films in my mind, and it's the two, I've got the three. obvious two. I've got it's three, always, and I can't choose between them all. <laughs> I'm really it's still. always Halloween, and it's always The Thing. I yeah. think Carpenter sort of like nailed his sort of like tense filmmaking with The Thing, because with the Halloween, it was sort of like his way of getting his foot in the door, sort of like establishing himself, saying, this is what I can do. Give me the chance, and this is what I can do. I can make tension. I can make sort of like you believe that you are sort of like with the characters. Like I, I love it when a director is able to make you feel like you are actually in the film. And Halloween sort of like did that. It was the kind of first film of that ilk that, you went trick or treating with the characters. You were in Haddonfield. You were sort of like in the area itself. You might not have been part of what is going on, but you were in the area itself. You sort of like felt like you were expecting to hear a new story or a news flash. Like you've gone and got your sweets. You've decided to leave everything alone. Um, and then you've got home. You start eating the sweets. You're trying to watch a horror film yourself on TV, and then all of a sudden, a new flash comes through, and you hear sirens and all that kind of stuff. That's how it felt to me, Halloween. But with with the thing, he sort of like took that and made it more tense because it was in a restricted area. Like you never felt like you were in the film but you felt like you were eavesdropping on it. You were watching something that you should never be watching. Like, you can't believe what is actually happening. And I think for me, he sort of, like, was able to do that because he obviously did um, Halloween. He sort of, like, cemented his craft with the thing. And I, I think, personally, anyway, for me, his best film is The Thing, very closely followed by Halloween. So it's The Thing for me. I can't narrow it down because every time I think Halloween, I'm like, yeah, but then you've got the thing. You go, well, that's the thing is really good. But any every time I think about the thing, I always go back to Escape from New York, which is my third one. And I can't choose between any of those. Every time I go to one, I think to the other two. And it's one of those things. It's, if somebody said, right, you've got to pick one or we'll shoot the other two. I, I don't know. I, don't, I can't choose. So it's been annoying me all week. Which one do I prefer? So for me, it's definitely one of those three, but they're all different enough, I think, that I kind of like them. I think, obviously, The Thing is probably one of the best films about paranoia uh, that I've seen since, like, probably the Body Snatchers, some of the yeah. Body Snatcher movies. Um, Escape from New York is just a great sci-fi movie, and Halloween is easily my favourite slasher movie. But I'm, I'm stuck. I can't choose between those three. Instantly it, was easy, it was easy for me because when when we did our 100 favorite films of all time, the thing was in my top 10, Halloween wasn't. Right. So that's how I was easily able to actually split them because, yeah, I, I've seen the thing more than I've seen Halloween. I've seen Halloween quite a few times. I've seen the thing quite a few times as well. And mm -hmm. I still, to this day, get a little something different from the thing. And just because he was brave enough to end it on that question and all that kind of stuff, so... Yeah. I just think the thing is the slightly better of his oeuvre. I'll, I would be interested if anybody goes for films like Ghost of Mars or, or what have you. Do you know, I liked Ghost of Mars, but it's, I not, didn't. it's not even in mine. I like vampires. Do you know what my least favourite John Carpenter? Oh, there's two that I'm not a huge fan of. There is Dark Star, which is just too weird for my liking, but I'm glad he did it because then we got to see all these other John Carpenter films. And I'm not a massive fan of Big Trouble in Little China. It's just too quirky and just bonkers for me. So, and I know a lot of people really like that film. I do. Uh, I actually just, quite like Big Trouble. It's just a bit, I don't know, it's just too, like he's having too much fun, which is fine. I'm all right with John Carpenter having fun. They should do. But compared to his other works, I would rather have Prince of Darkness. I'd rather have Day Live. I would probably think The Fog is not as good as Big Trouble in Little China. So maybe Big Trouble isn't my least favorite one. That would be The Fog. But 
Yeah, well, at least it's not as bad as the remake of The Fog. The, ne- never, the, never watched it. No, don't, uh, you, no. Life's too you short. You really don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> the, Life's too the short original, to the original, the uh, the Fog from the sixties is fantastic. It's very tense and paranoid and juicing and stuff like that. Carpenter's one is sort of like a watered down version of yeah. of it. Um, so yeah, but for me, I I really really don't like Ghost of Mars. Ghost of Mars is just like. It's like somebody screaming at you. It, no, it's an annoying kind of film. And I hate feeling like that annoying kind of feeling. So no, that that for me is his worst. His best is the thing. His worst is uh, Ghost of Mars. I still can't choose the best one yet. I will at some point, but it's just, it's very difficult. 